Are you visiting or thinking about moving to North Idaho? I have some tips for you. In fact, I have the 10 commandments of Coeur d'Alene. Yes, 10 commandments. I need you to understand that when you come and visit here, there's some rules of the road. So stay tuned, we're gonna break it down right now. Welcome back, my name is Lindsay Allen. I am here today to go over the Ten Commandments of Coeur d'Alene, but first, I wanna make sure that if you wanna stay on top of the information and everything that's coming out of North Idaho, whether it's lifestyle or real estate, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Um, if you have any questions along the way, make sure to pop them down into the comments. And uh, you can always get a hold of me. I'm here, I get calls from people all the time, every day from out of state and even people in our community um, calling me, texting me, emailing me with questions about the market and how I can help them. So make sure that you subscribe and you save my contact information, reach out to me with any questions. So let's get into this. The 10 Commandments of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. First and foremost, thou shalt respect nature. And I think this is definitely a statewide thing, but up here in North Idaho, we are huge nature lovers. We are huge uh, protectors of our environment. Um, we have this beautiful lake uh, in our community. Well, actually a number of lakes in our community, but the crown jewel of North Idaho is Lake Coeur d'Alene. And the city of Coeur d'Alene is perched at the north end of the lake we really care about keeping that lake clean. We really care about keeping our parks clean. Um, Tubbs Hill, if you're going camping, pack in, pack out. It's a cardinal sin to come up here and to litter or be destructive with nature or be disrespectful of nature. So rule number one, commandment number one, thou shalt respect nature. Commandment number two, thou shalt be kind to your neighbor. People here in Idaho, and I've lived here my entire life, and I can definitely tell you as our state has grown and we've seen an influx of people coming from other communities, you can definitely tell people live differently, and you can tell when people come from larger communities into a smaller community. People here in Idaho, though, respect our neighbors. We say hi on the street. We hold the door open for people when we're going into the store. We make eye contact with people on the sidewalk. We do the wave at the steering wheel when you're passing people on a dirt road. I can tell you right now, you can tell someone's not from around here when you drive down a dirt road and you don't see the fingers over the steering wheel. Always say hi to people, always acknowledge people. Put a smile on your face, be warm, be welcoming. So commandment number two, thou shalt respect your neighbor. Commandment number three, thou shalt not compare Idaho's ways, politics, or life to the place that you came from. Now, I know that this is definitely one in particular that kind of riles up um, Idahoans is when people from other communities move here and then they say stuff like, well, back in my state or back where I came from, it was like this, or back where I came from, we had this, or we did this, or, you know, our cities did this. Um, well, one thing I can tell you here in Idaho, we are very proud of the way that we do things. And it's also kind of a simpler way of life, um, a kind of a non-government overreach type of thing, um, kind of let everyone do what they want to do without interfering or without passing judgment or without harassing people, let's put it that way. Um, so definitely, if you came from another state and you're living here in Idaho, let's not try and make Idaho the place that you came from. You came here for a certain reason. And if you love it here, um, then you'll kind of pick up on that and, and not be always comparing Idaho to where you came from. Plus, if where you came from was so great, maybe you should move back. Commandment number four, thou shalt say the city's name correctly. It's Cor de Lane. And our county is Kootenai. So Cor de Lane and Kootenai. Thou shalt say the city's name correctly. Okay, commandment number five. Thou shalt be prepared for the elements. 
Now, between the months of December and the end of May, which seems like a long stretch, it kind of is, but you have to be prepared for the elements. Although we get, you know, 250 plus days of sunshine in North Idaho, Mother Nature is really fickle. And there is kind of a joke that, you know, maybe there's a toddler, you know, up there spinning the wheel and just seeing where the weather lands. It could snow, it could sleet, it could hail and thunderstorm and windstorm, and you could have sun and you could have rainbows all in the same day. So you gotta be prepared for the elements. You need a pair of snow boots, you just do. You need a good shovel. If you live on a long road, you're gonna need a plow, but you're also gonna need a raincoat, and you might be shedding that layer in the afternoon when you left the house in the morning, it could be cold, and in the afternoon, you're shedding that layer. So be prepared. Commandment number six, thou shalt appreciate our clean community. Now, if you come from an area like Seattle or Portland or LA, these are the big feeders into North Idaho. You're gonna see a stark difference in our downtown and our parks compared to the places that you came from. And I can even tell you from visiting those places, when I come home, it's so apparent. It is so clean here. The community uh, does a lot here to make sure that we have this amazing presentation uh, for visitors. We are a resort town up here and we thrive on hospitality and tourism. But just as a member of our community, you can ask anyone who lives here, they take pride in keeping it clean. You won't see the, um, the trash or the crime and the homelessness that you see in these larger urban areas. And that is a huge part of what makes this community so amazing. So remember, we take big pride in the cleanliness of our community. So the next commandment, commandment number seven is, thou shalt become a normal driver. Where do I start with this? So we have a bit of a slower pace of life around here that you might not see in the bigger cities. Again, we are kind of a funnel here from the bigger cities like Seattle, Portland, and LA, and even San Diego. One thing we can tell you is that people do a lot of Sunday driving around here. Um, people take their time, uh, people aren't racing around, uh, there's a lot, again, remember one of the commandments, uh, be friendly to thy neighbor. We treat people with respect and one of the things that we've seen escalate a lot and with the growth that we've seen over the last handful of years is definitely some road rage, people speeding around town, um, people flipping people off or, you know, um, riding people's tails. Um, you're not going to get anywhere any faster. Um, and it only just actually makes your life more stressful. So remember when you come here, thou shalt be a normal driver. Don't be a jerk on the road. Take your time, slow down. That's why you're here, right? Okay, commandment number eight, thou shalt enjoy small town events. Now, again, part of the reason why people move here is because we have this small town feel. Now, yes, we are the second largest urban area in the state, but we have maintained the small town feel um, very well. And part of us maintaining that small town feel is some of these little events. Um, parades are a huge draw. Um, uh, firework shows at the at 4th of July and at Christmas for the lighting ceremony at the resort. Uh, farmers markets. Um, live after fives down in the park with local mu and regional musicians. Uh, we've got art on the green and pig out in the park. Events like that that draw in local artisans and local businesses and local uh, chefs and eateries to kind of display their food and, and, and expose it to a lot of different people. Get involved in these small town events. Come out and appreciate the sense of community and the friendliness that we have to offer up here. So commandment number nine, thou shalt idolize our lakes. Like I said, you gotta respect nature, but the most important economic driver for us here in North Idaho is our bodies of water, and specifically in Coeur d'Alene is Lake Coeur d'Alene. 
Um, at the north end of the lake is where the downtown area sits, it's where the resort sits, it's the parks, the, the beaches, North Idaho College. It is a, like I said, the crown jewel of North Idaho. And it's the, the reason that our community exists in the first place. So we idolize these lakes. They are very important, not only to us, but the Coeur d'Alene tribe that um, is on, that's majority located on the southern end of the lake, but everyone is a steward of the environment up here, especially the lake. Um, so we keep it clean, we do as much preservation as possible. Um, there's not a lot of development as, as, as there could be on the shores of Lake Coeur d'Alene, and that's for a reason, because we're trying to protect the shoreline. We want to protect the water. Without the lake and the health of the lake and the recreation it provides, our community would not be what it is today. And last but not least, thou shalt support local causes. I cannot tell you enough how amazingly giving our community is. Um, I personally am involved with a lot of stuff in our community, fundraisers, um, golf tournaments, um, uh, you know, uh, food drives, uh, ales for the trails, all sorts of things. Now, we have a very giving community, and I've mentioned this before, and there's a reason that I keep mentioning this, because it's a common theme. No matter where you go, People are involved with their PTA. People are involved with elder help. People are giving to Safe Passage and Children's Village. All of these entities around town um, are really doing their best to support the underserved in our community because all boats lift with a rising tide, right? So why not put as much effort and, and raise as much money as possible to support the underserved. And that's what we do a lot here, but we also are doing a lot to um, prop up our community by keeping it clean, uh, providing fun events, providing a sense of community, and showing people that, are, that have lived here for forever and people that are new that um, we are what we say we are. We are givers, we are doers, and we are philanthropists up here. I don't know that there's a more giving community in Idaho than what we see here in North Idaho and in Coeur d'Alene. Um, hundreds of fundraisers throughout the year, hundreds of golf tournaments throughout the year, um, tons of opportunities to give back. So again, if you're new here or you're visiting, make sure that you brush up on these 10 commandments. Um, uh, take it in, assimilate a little bit um, as much as you can, learn what you can about our community, take these commandments and live them out on the streets of Coeur d'Alene and I promise you, you will be welcome with open arms. Okay, so those are the 10 commandments of living in Coeur d'Alene. Do you out there have any commandments that you've come across or that you've realized that are really important to North Idahoans or Coeur d'Alene uh, residents? If you do, write them in the comments. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. You can also email me, text me. Um, again, I have people reaching out to me every day. I'm happy to, to give you the rundown about town. Um, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can stay on top of everything North Idaho. And we'll see you next time.